Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we all doing this morning? Have you had a good week? Now, last week, Ben set us all a challenge. Your challenge was to get a toothbrush, put it on your head, and see if you could put a sock on at the same time. How did you do? Did you manage it? Got to tell you guys, I couldn't do it. But if you did, put it in the comments section. And better still, get your grown up to send us a photo. We'd love to see it. And remember, you'll get points for your team if you've managed it. Okay, so this week's 30 second challenge. You've got 30 seconds to go and get it for me. Your Bible, a pen, something to write on, and see if you've got a chocolate button or a sweet or something that you can eat that will go flat on your head. Okay, 30 seconds, off you go. Awesome, so hopefully you've got all of those items in front of you. Okay, you're going to need your Bible in a few minutes, but your pen and paper you're going to need throughout the entire of Kids Church. Last week I showed you a clip of 15 items on a tray, and the game was Can You Remember? Now the highest number of items remembered last week was 9. Okay, so I'm going to, for the next part of the Kids Church, when we're doing different bits, try and think of the items, and if you can remember it, write it down onto your list. I'm going to show you at some point in Kids Church, that clip again to see if you can add some more to your list. The team that has the most at the end will get 50 points. Now we're going to go into the story. Last week's story Kaylee told us and it was a parable of the lost coin. Ben's going to continue on that theme today so have a sit down, get yourselves comfy and get ready to hear. Jesus told a story of a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. He loved the sheep and looked after them well. He told his sheep not to leave the pen, to stay where they would be safe and he could look after them. But, uh-oh, one little sheep wandered off to have an adventure. When the shepherd returned, he noticed one of his sheep was missing. The little sheep who wandered off was all alone. She was trapped. She was in trouble. She was scared. What would happen? It's the shepherd. He'd come to find her. He rescued her and took her home to the other sheep. He loved her so much that he left the other 99 and went out just to find her. He was so happy that he'd found his lost sheep, he ran straight to the village to tell all of his friends how wonderful it was to find his sheep. Wow, so that was such a cool story and that's a really important story that if you remember that story it will help you as you get older and as you go through different school classes, different learning and different places in life, this story will help you. Um, and this, this one comes from the book of Luke. So remember Matthew, Mark, Luke, and it's Luke and it's in chapter 15 and it's verses 3 to 7. Okay, so just going from that story and what we've just heard there and what we've seen, um, things will come in life that are going to distract us. It might be little things that make you think, oh, I'll go over and do that. Or it might be something someone says to you and then you think, oh, I'll go and do what they're doing. 
So just when there's little things like that, I always believe that God will put a little niggle in your stomach or a little voice in your head and say, should you be doing that? Should you think about that? And that's sometimes when you can come back to this verse, this story and think, hmm, you know what? I could get distracted, but I'm going to stick to do what God wants me to do. And that's why we're learning our memory verses so that we can come back to the word of God, so we can come back to the Bible, so we can come back to our sword. Um, and there's going to be times when you might get distracted and you might walk away. But I want to tell you this now, and this is the most important thing you'll ever know. This is one of the most important things we'll learn and understand in life, kids, is that you are precious to God. You are the most important thing to God. No matter where you go in life, God will always have his hand on you. God will always have his arms open, ready for you to fall back into, to give you a big squeeze and a big cuddle. But God will never let you fail. God will always pick you up. God will always carry you. So if you do get distracted in life later on, I hope this comes back to you, this story and this about this lost sheep and the shepherd going to find him. And I, I really hope and I pray that God will remind you of it and that you'll just say, God, I'm sorry, God, I need you. God, put your arms around me, help me, I'm scared, I'm lost. Just think of those times you might feel, when you're in that situation, you might feel scared, you might feel lost, you might feel a bit lonely. But knowing that you can come back to God and God will look after you, okay? All right, so we have did it a bit different this week. So we're gonna go into something else now. I'm gonna hand over to David. Hi kids, it's time for the most energetic part of the service now, where we all get up together to sing, dance and clap, to worship God, to show him how much he means to us. I'm just gonna read you a short passage from the Bible, which is from Psalms. So if you open your Bibles in the middle, and it, you're looking for the big number, which is 95, and the small number, which is six, and it goes like this. So come, let us worship, bow before him, on your knees before God, who made us. So let's hear all those voices, jump around, clap your hands.
superb. So we have learned a lot today. We've learned the most important thing about God protecting us. And when we can get distracted, God will look for us, God will find us and we can look for him and we can find him if we focus on his word. We've done some worship, which we had the opportunity to tell God how awesome he is. So before we go into our games, I'm going to pray for us. I'm going to pray for you guys at home. I'm going to pray that God will protect you and help you so that when you do get distracted, you can focus back on him. So just wherever you are, just close your eyes to me and we're going to pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you that we've learned about you. We thank you, God, that we've been able to understand that when we do get distracted, you will pull us back. But God, you won't let us go because we are so precious to you. So God, as we go into our games now, I pray you help us to enjoy them, to have some fun. But just to remember, the most important thing about Life Kids and why we do this is because we want to get to know you more and to spend some time as a family and be able to worship together. Amen. Brilliant. So we're going to go into our first game. Now, this is a girls game and a boys game. So I'm going to put Ruth on first and we're going to see how many ping pong balls she can blow into a cup. But she has to do it over water. So there's a lot of cups with water and she has to blow it all the way to the end to get into the bottom cup. And we're going to see how many Ruth can do for the girls and how many I can do for the boys. Now boys, I'm going to do my best. We've got to get this. We've got to win to get more points because the girls are just beating us on the score at the moment. Okay, are we ready, Ruth? Let's go. Seconds, stay seconds. Boys, now it's for us. We're gonna see if we can beat them. Six for the girls, let's make it seven for the boys. We don't want to be too Okay, are we ready? I'm sure she had more time than us. Sorry boys, the girls have got the points on that one, so it's an extra 20 points for the girls. 
But don't worry, we've got another game and this is your chance to see if you guys can get more points, not from me. But before we go into the next game, last week I showed you a clip of Can You Remember? And it was a tray with certain items on. And the highest number that somebody came up with and showed me the list was nine. So I'm going to show you that list again. So that's why you needed your pen and your paper earlier on. So you've got that list to see if you can quickly write down any of the new ones. So at the end of the next game, we're going to see who can get the most. And whoever gets the most will get an extra 50 points for their team. Okay, so you've had your 30 seconds to write down as many as you can, or to think about as many as you can. So now we're going to go into our second game for the day. So this game is called Who Am? Sorry, no, it's called What Am I? So this is a game where I've taken a picture of some items in my household and you have to guess what that item could be. So you have 20 seconds to write down for what each item might be. I'm going to show you the clip for about 5-10 seconds so you can have a look at it. And then you've got 20 seconds to write it down and then I'm going to show you what that clip is. So yeah, 20 seconds, type in quickly what you think that item might be. Have a quick think. Ah, uh, what is it, what is it? And quickly type it down. And then send on the chat. I think it's a, send it down. And I'm gonna tag it up so you can get most again. Okay, off we go.
So we've gone through our two games, I'm going to tally up the points and I'm going to add the points in the week for the boys and the girls. But I said that if you can remember how many items are on there, write them down, tell me how many you've got in the chat now and I'm going to give 50 points to that person who got the most. Okay? So you've seen it a few times in between, now's your chance to write them all down. But for this week's challenge, and this is the challenge I'm going to set for you all, and this is for you to give to your adults to do or to people in your family as well, and I want you to record them and play them back to each other because they're hilarious. So you will need that chocolate button or a flat sweet of some kind that you can sit on your head, like there, and you have to lean backwards, and you have to wiggle your eyebrows, wiggle, until you can get it to move all the way down your face and into your mouth. The best one are chocolate buttons because they get really messy and sticky down your face and they taste good afterwards. Okay? Right. It tastes amazing. This is why you do this game. <laughs> I'm going to close now. We're going to pray. And I'm going to pray you guys have a fantastic week. Dear Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you that we've had time to have fun, to learn about you, and just to get more team points so that we can win. And God, I pray that you give us a fantastic week this week. I pray we have a really good time wherever we are, that we have a really nice time. And help us to continue reading your Bible and continue to speak to you daily. Amen. See you guys next week. Have a fantastic week. Love you all. Bye.